Just keep it simple. A simple life is a beautiful life. Hi. <laughs> This is Valentine's Day and I love you guys, you know, so I decided to do another video. Um, I have this lip tops and I planted in three weeks ago. Obviously, uh, trimming the roots, making sure it colors. Uh, I think I planted in after three days. Yeah, I forgot I put aside, planted in after three days, uh, which was okay, you know. And uh, I found containers like this, yeah, I think it was a... Uh, a dessert kind of thing container it has a cover and I wanted to throw it away and I decided you know well why throw it away when I could use it so uh, I've made drainage hole I've made drainage hole uh, on both of these containers yeah right at the bottom uh, after doing the drainage hole uh, then I have my soil mix yeah my lip top soil mix uh, and this one I just watered, that's why you could see that the soil is pretty black here. I just watered last night. Um, and I planted this in. This is uh, Kiku here. Yeah, and this is Akampe, and then there is a Karas Montana there. Uh, and they started shredding. Yeah, so this is uh, three weeks ago. Uh, different, different size of Kiku. Different, different size of Kiku. And I still like Kiku very much uh, because they are really beautiful. They are really beautiful. Yeah. And you can see uh, the markings. Each of them are very different. And uh, it's really hard to get uh, green Kikus. Yeah, I have uh, green Kikus here and I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah, I'm very happy about it. This is how it looks like. And uh, I place it at the windowsill. So from the windowsill, when the light when the light shines in uh, from uh, this side, yeah, I could actually see all the markings. I could see all the markings of the uh, kiku. It's so so beautiful. It is so beautiful. You can see all the markings. It's just lovely. Yeah, for those who love lip tops, yeah, kiku is a good good species to keep yeah if you don't have yeah and this is a full window kiku this is hard to find full window kiku is really hard to find and akampe uh, when i have the uh, akampe um, they were not shading yet so so far out of the five akampe four have shaded I'm not sure if this one is shading or not. I couldn't feel it. Well, if it sheds, it sheds. But it's already rooted into the soil. Yeah? And this was not shading as well. Uh, single head, it shed into twin head. I'm pretty happy about it. And Akampe is pretty much the only species that can grow 4 to 5 cm uh, for lip tops. Yeah? Um, mainly the rest do not grow that big. But Akampe can actually do so. Uh, Akampe is also a very very beautiful uh, lip tops uh, to keep and it's uh, kind of a, one of the easy to care lip tops here check this out look at the veins, uh, the marking Karas is unique in a way yeah it has a uh, like an embroidery to me I always say it's an embroidery yeah. it has when you touch it yeah when you touch it you can feel the embroidery in it <laughs> all right so why I do this video is because uh, I have seen this I'm not sure if I could capture it on site uh, I've seen the roots yeah, this is after three weeks. I've seen the roots. Can you see the roots here? Yeah, it's growing. Uh, one thing I like about all this container is transparent. And I could see the root growth. So just in three weeks, it's really going down here. So um, most probably your next question is, Susan, is this uh, container that good enough for them? Um, it's, it's good enough for them. It's good enough for me. So I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, if they grow downwards and they can't find space, you know, they'll go to the side. Yeah. I'm planting it a bit tight, yeah, because I like it. <laughs> but 
in actual fact when I planted it like I said they were single head so they were pretty far apart then now they started shading so it looks very close yeah so uh, you can do this way or you can do your way yeah everyone has their own style of uh, planting oh my cloth so um, I couldn't see the root for the kiku let me check I couldn't see the root for the kiku but I am very sure I, they are all rooted just by wiggling you know they have rooted when they are staying firm into the soil yeah. so uh, ensure you use the correct uh, soil mix and uh, do not water them uh, when you say oh I think they need water yeah that's 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 something we love to do yeah I think they need water uh, when they wrinkle you water them when they are shading you don't water them and you only water them uh, after you complete shading but I watered this uh, I did not do a very deep watering it's a very light watering uh, because I just got them three weeks ago and uh, I watered them just to make sure that the root is uh, growing and at the same time uh, the baby is taking all the nutrients from the mother so therefore I want to make sure the root is growing so that after they complete shading they are very comfortable in the soil with the root growth that is what I was trying to achieve uh, but for beginners uh, most of the so-called sifu or all the masters will tell you don't water them when they are shedding yeah, but uh, I did a very very light watering just from the top yeah I did I just did a mist watering uh, and I hope the root will grow but um, I was happy that you know it actually uh, growing and uh, the baby plant seems to be okay all right so um, I hope this uh, video is interesting enough uh, just to let you know lip tops do survive in Malaysia yeah they need good sunlight they need good sunlight and uh, I'm sure you can do it if you have any challenges uh, drop me a message and I try to assist you if uh, I've experienced that before I uh, would be able to assist you um, many have given up on lip tops uh, the lip tops demand is there but not as uh, high as before because uh, uh, a lot of them have given up because they they go jelly the next day you know they are very perfect today and tomorrow they just die off uh, but uh, do not give up because uh, many other people have successfully planned lip tops and I'm sure you can uh, just that you know you need to go through some challenges uh, prior to you uh, succeeding in planting your lip tops I'm using a magnifying uh, attachment to my phone uh, hoping to show you a clearer picture of how kikus are uh, why people uh, like to collect lip tops is because of the detail that they can find on lip tops details like this detail like this oh, let me see where else oh gosh am I able to move this yeah detail like this this is like a mirror of a forest side by side uh, this is the full window full window are a bit more expensive compared to normal because uh, there's a minimal thing here okay let me see uh, this is the green one the chocolate color green it's not the green so why people like lip tops mainly is because of this yeah i'm going to show you the uh akampe yeah hang on the karas here uh, let it focus okay my hand is shaking 
Okay, now you can see it. Yeah, this is what I like about Karas. Okay, let's move on to uh, the Akampi. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, it will go out of focus and then back to focus. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. There's some debris on it. Mm, Alright. Alright. See. What is the new baby here? The mother plant is shearing away. A new baby so don't worry about this I know you see wrinkle don't worry about that and this has not shaded yeah this has not shaded I'm just showing you the details here that's so nice it's another one here okay all right so this is nice so the magnifying glass do help me because yeah my eyesight is not very good nowadays so this truly helps me but i'm sure the younger uh, collectors uh, will be able to see the detail without using the magnifying glass without using the magnifying glass okay hope you enjoy this close-up uh, lip tops Happy Valentine's Day again and um, have a good day ahead for you. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, have a good day and a good evening. <laughs>